For this first video, I'm only going to talk about this first section of, of setting up. Okay, here's the big picture. We want you to create four folders. One topic folder with the name of your project and then three subfolders with the names of three different locations that you'll be visiting in, in your project. Okay, so for example, you could say um, my project is uh, uh, earthquakes, uh, history of, of biggest earthquakes, and then you can have, you know, uh, South America, uh, Japan, I don't know where the other places are. But, um, but that's how we want you to structure um, your file system, okay? Let's take a look at an example in Google Earth. This one is called Portuguese Speaking Countries and the three subfolders of places. This is actually a sub subfolder, um, but that's okay. Brazil, Mozambique, Portugal, okay? Also, it says in, in this part, if you read, read carefully, that um, each of these folders need to have a few paragraphs of description about what you're going to be seeing inside of, of that folder and, and, and where you're going to be going. Also, it has to contain all of the relevant uh, items uh, to, that, to that location. So if I click on here, I will see that paragraph information for each of these places. Okay, great. Next, we're going to look at visual layers and informational layers. Visual layers are essentially uh, either photos, images, videos that can be overlaid onto, um, onto Google Earth. And informational layers are just icons representing bits of information about the place. Okay, let me show you what I mean. All of the layers are found down here. Okay, they're all under this primary database that is stored online by Google. So the top few from borders and labels all the way down to 3D buildings, those are generally your, um, your visual layers, okay? So what I want you to do is actually go through each one of these layers and explore it and see um, and see how if it's if it's applicable to your your project. I think borders um, is should always be clicked. It's very helpful to see the political boundaries um, of all the different places. Okay, uh, labels gives you some of the major cities in the areas, also major landmarks. Um, so that can be good, but take note that like the more you click, the more kind of uh, crowded and distracting um, your visuals can get. So be very selective about what you choose to include. Now, preferably what I want you to do under your topic folder is in the bubble that pops up, I want you to say, please turn on the following visual layers and informational layers, okay? All you have to do is pick three that are most applicable to your project, okay? If you have any additional questions about that, just ask me. All right, now, to avoid all that distraction and stuff of all the, all the different layers being turned on, what you can do is Let's say there is a, just one photo um, that you want to call out, and it's this one. Valkenstücken Schoggenberg, Sonntagberg. Okay. Um, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So I can say, <laughs> now I'll never be able to find it. Oh, there it is. Instead of just turning this entire uh, panoramio, um, layer on, what I can do is right click on that element and save it to my places. And what that'll do is it'll save it to the very bottom. If you look up in places, my places, it'll save it under what I have on my, my application. It says world oil consumption. Boom. Okay. It saves it to my places and then I have to drag it to the appropriate folder. So it would be like under Portugal or something like that. Okay. Just going to delete that item. 
So that was an example of saving at least one item from each of these selected visu three visual layers and three informational layers. Okay, so when I come in and grade, I'm going to be looking for at least six items from different layers saved throughout your subfolders. Okay, so this one, this project has a ton. I've got one, let's see. Something also that's really helpful is if you wouldn't mind just letting me know what it is so I don't have to memorize what the icon is. I can just say, oh, it's a 3D photo. Um, visual, it's a visual layer. So I'm like one, it's got one visual layer, two, three visual layers. Okay, information on this. One, two, three. Okay. And again, they don't all have to be in one subfolder. They could be spread out. I think that's it for the setup, guys. If uh, you have any questions about setup, email me at briantanner.byu.edu. Excuse me, at byu.edu. Um, otherwise, we can move on to place markers in the next video.